Hi, AT from CNC at home. Now that we have the rotary roller set up, let's look at what configuration changes we need to make in the Lightburn software to get this working. There are a couple ways of doing it, and I'm going to cover both of those real quickly. So let's go into the Lightburn software and take a look. One of the first things we want to do is go under Edit and Settings and turn on the Show Rotary Enabled on Main Window. This will show a little extra switch down here in the main window so we can turn rotary on and off easily. Then we go under the rotary setup where we can enable or disable, set to the type of roller, which axis, the millimeters per rotation, I'll explain later how I got that number, the size of the roller diameter, the diameter of your object or circumference, which other, either the diameter or the circumference you key in, it'll calculate the other. The 12 millimeter roller diameter was given by the manufacturer. Because the controller needs to be configured, I set up two macros. One that sets the 101 to 84, the 111 to 2000, and the 121 to 750. I also have a macro to set them back for when I'm not using the rotary tool. These determine how fast the uh, stepper motor turns, how much it turns, etc. And so this is the, um, what the factory suggests. Here's a quick example of just a toilet paper tube, that's the cylinder that I found, rolling back and forth on the rotary roller. I'm going to try and get the uh, laser focused on this so I can do a little burning on this uh, toilet paper tube. We'll just get that focused as small as we can get that and we're ready to burn. Move it down towards the base of the tube. and start the burn. I accidentally had this set with uh, the rotary enabled in light burn and I hadn't configured it at this point. So the burn came out really kind of wider than it should have been. For the next burn, I disabled the rotary in light burn and just used the basic settings. It turned out okay. Yeah, it looks just like the little Saint Smart logo. I took a pop can and painted it black so I could do some burning experiments with it. So we'll get the laser focused up for the diameter of the can and uh, do some test burning. This is where I determined the millimeters per rotation for the rotary setup within light burn. I essentially took a rectangle that was the 207 point whatever millimeters, uh, drew that up in light burn, and that should, on the rotary tool, then start burning, roll the can around completely 360 degrees and end burning. There ended up being a little bit of an overlap, so I made some adjustments until I came up with that 37 number that worked perfectly. 
So here's where I have that 37 set. That's the millimeters per rotation. And I got that through experimentation. It started out as a larger number, but the two ends overlapped, so it ended up going more than the 360 degrees. I didn't do burns for each one of the tests, but when it got close, then I burned again. That 37 was the perfect number for my machine. Now we're going to burn that same Sane Smart logo guy on the can. This time with the rotary enabled. With the appropriate settings, it turns out much nicer than before we had that set. Get that cleaned up here and take a quick look at it. Could have burned that maybe a little slower to get some extra paint off of there, but it worked. We're just experimenting with how it performs at this point. Now I did run into an issue with the rotary roller. When I move 20 millimeters in one direction and then I come back, it's not in the same spot. So it did go 21 millimeters. That's an adjustment we can work on later. But when I come back 20 millimeters, it should be in the exact same spot at 70, but it's not, it's at 71. So I tried it again. I moved 20 millimeters out and then 20 millimeters back. Let's take a look at that. Went a little bit further, and then when it came back, now I'm at 72. So something's not quite right here. I'm working with Sane Smart on this. I've sent them all the parameters and they're uh, digging into what might be going on. I'm sure we'll get that figured out. Why is that important? If you're using the Y axis in any way, shape or form, you need it to move one direction and then back to the exact same spot. So if you wanna burn something twice. So what I'm doing here is I'm burning that Sane Smart logo but using the Y scan instead of an X scan. And you can see how it's getting skewed. Every time it rolls back, it's off a little bit. And so the whole burn gets skewed a little bit. So for now, I'm using just the X axis scanning and things are turning out okay. As Soon as we get this figured out with Saint Smart, then uh, we can do some other kinds of burns. Again, probably should have slowed it down a little bit or increased the laser power, but that's for another time. I'm having fun finding cylinders and seeing what I can burn on them. So get yourself a rotary roller. That's kind of fun to play with. Oops. Hi, I'm AT from CNC at Home. If you like our content, help support our channel by clicking on subscribe and liking our videos. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun with your CNC at Home projects.